Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will talk about adding chapters, sections, and subsections to your thesis. So let us first talk about the document clause. Theses and books can be written by using document class report. However, I would suggest to use document class book. The reason is that it provides many additional options for different styles. If you are writing thesis that contains mathematical equations, figures, and tables, you would need to add these packages. For the detailed description of these packages, I would suggest to watch my video and title page of thesis in the playlist Logic. With that said, let me begin by adding chapters first. So let's move. Starting, you need to add command begin document and at the end you would need to add the command end document. So and you will write everything inside these two commands. A chapter is added through the command chapter and the title or heading is added into the argument inside the curly brackets like this. Here I have added the heading is adding chapters, sections, and subsections to a logic document. If I build a document, you will see that the title of the chapter is generated. If you want to arrange the title in the center style, just add the command centering with a space and build the document again now you see the title of the chapter is arranged into the centering style. However, for the time being, I'm removing the centering command and leaving it to the default style. The next thing is to add section into your thesis and that can be added by the section command here backslash section is the section command for generating section and inside the curly brackets which is the argument to the section command you add the name of your section here i am writing introduction as first section and if i build a document the section will be generated so you see the section is generated here the number 1.1 the first one refers to the chapter number and the second one refers to the section number so we are in the first chapter therefore we have one over here and this is obviously the first section of the chapter so we have this one at this position if you are not interested to uh, give the number to the section you just need to add a steric after the section command if now i build the document you will see the numbering 1.1 to the section will be removed you see there is no number now so you can add sections with no number or with a number so i would like to remove the steric to keep the section generated and if i activate the text you will see this tip will be added as the first section here you see this is the text in the first section if i add another section which i am doing right over here by activating the section command and here the name of the section is this is the document second section if i build the document you will see now it will be 1.2 section in the document here now this to represent this now this to stand for the number of second section since we have 1.2 means it is the second sec section of first chapter and if i activate the text you will see this text will be added to the second section of the document so we have this text inside the second section of the document we can add subsections to the sections and that i can do by using subsection command as over here and the name of the subsection is added to the argument of the command inside the curly breakers if i build this document now 
you will see it will be numbered with 1.2.1 as over here. So here this one represents the chapter number, this two represent the section number which is 1.2 over here and this one represent the first subsection which is given the name. This is subsection of the second section. And uh, similarly if I activate the text in this subsection it will be added as the text in the subsection. So we see here this is the text in the subsection. And if we want to add equations into our document which I am doing over here, you will see this equation will be automatically numbered with chapter number and equation number. Let me build the document first. You see here the equation is added and it is number 1.1. The first one refers to the chapter number and the second one refers to the equation number inside the chapter. So this is the first equation in chapter 1. Therefore, it is numbered as 1.1. And if you want to add a subsection to the subsection that you can do by using the command sub subsection with argument inside the curly brackets. In here I am adding the title of the sub subsection as this is the subsection of the subsection of the second section. And if I build the document now, you will see it will be numbered with 1.2.1.1. So the 1.2.1 refers to the chapter number, the section number, the subsection number and the last one refers to the sub subsection of the document. And if I activate the text inside it, it will be added to the body of the sub subsection as over here. Now, let us uh, experience by adding the second chapter which I am adding here by the chapter command with its heading inside the argument is review of the fundamental concepts for the thesis. If I build the document now, the second chapter will be added. Come over here. So here is the name of the second chapter, Review of the Fundamentals Concepts for the Thesis. And again, if you want to center arrange this, just add the centering command inside the uh, argument like we did before. Now let us see what happens to the number of the sections inside the set second chapter if I activate the section command with title introduction as first section and also activate the text for the second command and build the document you will see that now this section will be numbered as 2.1 because now this section belongs to second chapter so it is number two and this is the first section of second chapter here is we have one. Similarly, if I add an equation to the second chapter which I have written over here by just activating this and I build this document again, this equation would be numbered as 2.1. Yes, the equation is numbered as 2.1. So the first, so the two in this case represent the chapter number which is chapter two and the one represent the first equation. This sequence of equation will be continued that is if I add another equation for example I copy this equation and paste this over here so now this equation will be number S 2.2 Yes, this equation, this is the second equation of second chapter, so it is number is 2.2. Now, if you want to label a section for referencing it inside your text, you would just need to add the command label. I add this label and inside the argument of label, you would give it section, let's say I denoted by section 
one. I can refer this section inside the document anywhere I want. For example, I write here in section refer inside the reference command I would give the keyword which I have added over here and this keyword is section colon one so I would use section colon one and then close the bracket now at this position the number of the section will be automatically added to the text if I build a document and move to chapter one over here yes here you see the section number is automatically added i have written in the text file and section and then the section reference which is 1.2 so this is 1.2 and it is added over here similarly you can label the subsections by adding label with a key sub sub and i gave it two and if i want to refer this subsection inside the text like i write over here in the sub the subsection with key sub and i build the document the number of the subsection would be added at this position Oh, I made a mistake. This should be label. If I build the document now, so you see at this position in the subsection 1.21, and this is 1.21 is added over here. So this way you can add chapters, sections, subsections, and uh, referencing by labeling the chapters inside your document.